Hi children, welcome back. This is Vijaya signing in. So what did we start in the other day session? It was the third poem, Rain on the Roof, written by Coat Skinny. And already we have learned that the poet is trying to tell us about his childhood experiences and his memories, what are tagged and associated with the rainfall. And he quoted that Peter Patter sound is so melodious. So as even uh, we all also feel the same thing. So shall we continue children? And he has also like you know compared that sound of Peter Patter while he goes to bed with his echo. Echo is a sound connected with our heartbeat. So it is so touching he felt. He felt it is so touching. And then as soon as he goes to bed slowly and gradually he gets into sleep and therein he starts dreaming something fancy. That's how he starts dreaming. Let's see what are his dreams now. And a thousand recollections weave their eight threads into oof. And a thousand recollections. So the poet is telling us about his childhood memories. So years ago, many years ago, they, like during all the monsoon seasons, whenever there was a rainfall, at the time of his childhood and whenever he used to go to bed and when he was in his bed and also, of course, there will be many memories, a very good collection, treasure of memories, right children? That's the reason they have mentioned the word thousand recollections. Then when he starts recollecting, there will be many, many, many uncountable number of memories whereas he had put together as recollections. And see the word they used, weave their eight threads into oof. See children, whenever you might have attended your art and craft classes, when you are in class 5, 6, 7, 8 classes, usually for the art and craft, whenever uh, weaving, if at all you have done before, you will be provided with a frame of any of the shapes. It can be circle or it can be square or a rectangular shape. Then you will be given uh, wool or you will be given the threads and all. That you will follow a very very systematic pattern of weaving like zigzag or slanting or cross. There is a systematic method of weaving. So here he is saying that as soon as I hear the pitter patter raindrop sound then they start letting me recollect all my memories. So at once when all the memories they start entering into his mind you know that procedure he is comparing with as if he is weaving a woof. Woof is nothing but it is a frame. It is a frame which usually you take help of to weave any of the things. You can use the thread or you can use the wool or any of the material, whatever you want it. So that's what he says that in the air it is threads into woof. It is his imagination. It's not in fact happening. He feels that because children whenever you say the word Dream. Dream is something to do with the story. Am I saying correct or not? Because dream is something which you usually imagine and unusual things and wonderful things you will see in the dream. So stories also, fancy stories and all, you will definitely like to listen and write. So whenever you are writing a story, usually you use the word making up of a story. It's called making because you use it. Out of your own creation, you will create a story. So even another word also can be used there. Weaving a story. Have you ever heard that? Of course, weaving a story also is another word which is used. So relating to that, he is saying that eight threads. He is using the word eight threads into woof. So eight threads, all that like environment around him when it is raining. Like all that feelings, you know, they are enabling him to recollect. They are allowing him to recollect his past memories. As I listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof, so he's continuing. As I listen to the pitter patter rain droplet sound as they fall down from my roof, now in memory comes my mother. Who is the first one children entering into his mind? It was his mother. Now in my memory comes my mother. It was his lovable beloved mother 
as she used in years ago on ago on the word is used children ago on is nothing but ages ago means years ago as now he is not a child right now when he is describing this poem am i right so he is describing about his very past so that's the reason why he is calling ages ago it is years ago long long ago she used in years ago she used when the word is been used children we we must understand that now she is no more when the poet is writing this poem she is no more at that time she might have already passed away so to regard the darling dreamers to regard the darling dreamers who could be the darling dreamers along with the poet children when he was a young child of course his own siblings his brothers or sisters younger or elder brothers or younger sisters and whoever it may be so his mom used to take care of all her children including our poet and that's the reason he is addressing them as darling dreamers er she left them till the dawn er er is usually you know it is used in ancient english that's nothing but before so she she used to be with her children till it is the morning so throughout the night she used to take care of her children how could we come to know because it is mentioned that she left them till the dawn dawn to dusk you all know it dawn is nothing but in the very early morning dusk is in the sunset time that is evening dawn is sunrise time so air she left them till the dawn so before it is the morning she used to leave them in the bed and she used to go oh i feel her fond look on me so now he feels oh i feel her fond look on me i really can understand i can feel how caring she was how caring mother she was now i realize now i experience now i feel it's so heart touching now i understand how caring my mom was about her children as a list to this refrain L I S T list is not listing children. List is the word in a poetic way. It has been used for listening, listening, listening to something. As I listen to this refrain, is refrain is nothing but repeated part of a song or a rhyme, repeated part. Because whenever there is a rainfall, pitter pat sound would be repeated. So that's what he means to say. So whenever there is a rainfall, and as soon as I hear to the pitter pat rainfall sound. i immediately try to recollect my mother who used to be very caring towards her children who used to wake herself up until all the children slept and maybe throughout the night she used to really sit and take care of her children yeah now i feel how fond she was of taking care of her own children which is played upon the shingles so the sound he says that i keep repeatedly listen to the sound of pitter patter which is played upon the shingles again the shingles are rectangular shaped wooden tiles so as soon as it's not the simple rain drop rain droplets children whenever the rain droplets are heard falling down only on the shingles then he recollects this kind of memory so that's what he says that as i listen to this repeated sound which is played on the wooden tiles by the pitter patter of the rain so what is the sound which would make him to recollect all his childhood memories it was the pitter patter rain so see children here though it is seem to be so simple poem but it has got lot of inner meaning in it inner meaning as i said children you all remember when i was telling you about the wind poem also it has given us the theme to be tough enough strong enough so here it's nothing but about the human relations it's about the love and affection of the mom is emphasized in the poem which is being recollected by the poet who is the poet children who is the poet of the poem yes it is called skinny is everybody clear with the poem shall we go ahead with the poem reading once please listen to the poem once Look into your e-books, children. When the humid shadows hover, humid shadows means what, children? Moisturous clouds moving around. Over all the starry sphere, stars in the sky, where you see the sky is completely filled with the 
stars and the melancholy try to use these kind of words children and don't uh, ask to let you understand we give you the synonyms to simplify to let you understand but while it comes to your writing try to please make use of the same words melancholy is a beautiful word which tells us about the sadness or pensive mood like uh, being grief having a lot of irritation but you will not know the reason no cause for your sadness so melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears so here rainy tears are nothing but the rain droplets what a bliss to press the pillow bliss is happy mood press the pillow is to about to go to bed you can take help of pillow to set your neck properly before you go to bed or else you sometimes use it to hug it as well as you sleep you can see the young children they take uh, help of even the soft toys also of a cottage chamber bed cottage chamber children please underline take the meaning it's nothing but our bedroom it's a bedroom and lie listening to the patter patter is raindrops sound of the soft rain overhead overhead is where does it fall from from the overhead from the upper part that's a roof that's a ceiling every tinkle on the shingles every tinkle on the shingles the small like light sound which falls on the rectangular shaped of wooden tiles has an echo in the heart so every rain droplet sound has something to do it has got an association with my heart beat he says everything is recorded into my echo echo is nothing but the repeated sound of heart and a thousand dreams fancies is not only that how is it associated the rainfall is associated with many of my memories it's thousand they are in number of thousand weave their eight threads into oof as if there are many threads around and many thoughts they linger around my mind so they start weaving the oof oof is nothing but a what is that yes right you are right yes you are right it's nothing but a frame as i listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof so when do, when does he realize and when does he feel so when it rains and having the pitter patter sound now in memory comes my mother then he describes about his memory what he would see in his dream first comes his his mom who used to take very good care of him and his siblings brothers and sisters she used in years ago many years ago she was there it means she is no more now to regard the darling dreams so she used to really make all of us sleep and she used to really take very good care and she left them till the dawn so she used to take good care before they sleep before they go to bed she used to start making them sleep and then she used to leave them just before the sunset sun rising it that's in the morning oh i feel her fond look on me it means he feels that he is missing his mom now because she is no more whenever we re recollect something which we lost children of course we really regret the lo loss so here the poet is really sharing his great loss what he lost was none other than his mother and her love and affection and the care as i listen to this refrain whenever i listen to this repeated sound of pitter patter rain drops which is played upon the shingles because his roof roof is made up of what children rectangular shaped wooden tiles that by the pitter patter of the rain so this is all about the poem shall we discuss the questions in brief children and there is glossary given here try to please give a glance at the glossary as well tinkle is short light ringing sound shingles rectangular wooden tiles used on roof as i have already given you roof is the threads woven across the loom Room is nothing but the frame. Air is the old poetic word used for before. Refrain is a repeated sound, and repeated part of the poem or a song. List is old poetic word for what? Listening. These are all the things given in your textbook also. So there are a few questions given. Children, try to please look at them. First question: What do the following phrases mean to you? Discuss in class. You can really discuss. and write out the answers whenever you are free first one is humid shadows humid shadows are nothing but what children what did i tell you there are the clouds which are heavy having lot of moisture in them 
leaving their shadows on the earth. Humid shadow. Humid is humidity has it has got what children? You might have learned all these things in science. Moisture. Starry spheres. Sphere is the air around all us. Something around us environment. So the area which is filled with stars in the sky is starry sphere. Water bliss. The scene. How happy he was. When does he feel happy? Happy children. When he felt that the sky is sad and started bursting into rainy tears. Then he expresses his bliss. Bliss is feeling of being delighted. Feeling so happy. That's how he has experienced. Exclaimed that. What a bliss. Wow, what a moment. What a scene. A thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start. Who is the busy being there? Poet himself. Poet himself is calling himself as a busy being. Who would start dreaming and recollecting thousands and thousands of fancy dreams. Because he might have dreamt many since his childhood. Then he would start recollecting all those memories and also dreams. Then the next question. What does the poet like to do when it rains? What does he like to do children? That's the question what I asked you. First, you all remember, what do you prefer to do? Because we are learning about the poet and his likes. But you have your own choice. What do you prefer to do? You write down. What does he prefer to do? He prefers to go to bed. He would like to be in his bed, holding and pressing the pillow and listening to the melodious sound of pitter patter, raindrops and he would like to try to recollect his memories, past memories and enjoy the night. What is the single major memory that comes to the poet? What are the darling dreamers he refers to? What is the single memory children whenever he listens to this pitter patter sounds only one single memory it, strike, it immediately strikes to his memory. What is, what is that? It is none other than his mother and his mother's love. Then who are the darling dreamers there? Darling dreamers may be his siblings, brothers and sisters. Is the poet now a child? Is his mother still alive? No. Poet is grown up and he is an adult now. He is grown up. He is an adult now. And his mother is no more. That's the reason why he has used the word children. As she used in years ago. She used. He mentioned that particular part in past. It does show that she is no more. So see children they have given you some activities. When you were a young child did your mother tuck you in as the poets did? So all these things please go ahead like there are three questions given for your self activity, self discussion. So you can just uh, refresh your own memories when you are a child and uh, you might have enjoyed many of the things. Spending your nights with your parents, having your mama, tucking with her and all. So please do share once we reopen. So is everybody clear children? So now anyhow we are going to and we are about to enter into monsoons. So try to enjoy the Peter Patter raindrops. So, hope you enjoyed. So, as usual, I shall be serving you the worksheets, children. Please do attempt correctly and then let's discuss them in the online sessions. This is Vijaya signing off. Bye-bye.